What are you getting on the uh, Game Boys? Uh, truth be told, there's a gentleman walking around. Um, and I promised him, because he wants the stuff. And I, I said, could you just please give me like half an hour? Because I got more stuff coming out and I got to get situated. Okay. Um, if you want to come back, same deal. I'll, um, like I said, first come, first serve. But come on back in about a half an hour. Okay. I'll have more stuff to put out, okay? All right. Did you? I, I watched it. It was. It wasn't bad. It was confusing as all hell. Like I'm telling you, like too many truckies. Well, they left I it wide open for another one. Yeah, they did. He finally had a. He finally got a body, which is weird to me that he wasn't more excited about it. Because that's usually that's what he was doing in like the past movies, trying to find a body to live in. Yeah. And then he finally got one. What's going on? <laughs> Maybe it's because it's a female body. So which one's the real cat? Which one's the original puppy? Is it the head? Or is it the one that was in the dog? Oh, I would have... You don't know. Yeah. I think the head is the original. Probably supposed to be the original, but yeah. you really don't know. Yeah, but how did the head turn the other puppy into... Who knows? It makes no sense. <laughs> yeah.
Attention spin? I, I don't know what it is, man. The last game yeah. I did it was Skyrim. And like, I had to literally fight myself to play the game through. I just started um, Wolfenstein 2 yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I, I need to like figure out what's wrong with me before fighters come out. Dragon yeah. Ball fighters. Because if I buy that game and I don't play it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> What are all these four for ten, right? Dollar games. Dollar games, bro. They're all sports games. Yeah. Sports, yeah, sports, sports. Like, they're not sports games. They're, they're <laughs> not sports games, sir. Sir. So you're getting too close to me. I need space. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to take a break. People even buy Skylanders anymore. Yeah, honestly, a lot of people do buy Skylanders. They really? can't give them away. Yeah. I didn't take them anymore. I mean, I know like Toys R Us has them, like buy one get seven free type deals, you know. Hello. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Side space. That's a nice. I like that one. Fight stick. Mm-hmm. Fight stick too. Yeah. 
just as uh, I love you sitting there. And uh, where is it? There. Uh, where you bite you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you got to do that. Well, that's a good game. I didn't play that. Uh, it's like a. It's actually like an episode. Like you make decisions in it. Okay. But I just found it, like, I had to put it together. I just found it in three pieces because the case is destroyed, but Damn. the case is there. I mean, it's missing the booklet, but. Critical depth is off. Awesome. Yeah. Game. What's going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood, Spruge here. So, after my vacation has pretty much ended, I'm technically off through tomorrow. Uh, and the final the rest of the weekend and Sunday is Rhode Island Comic Con, which I can't wait for. I'm wicked excited. And yeah, so basically this is stuff that I've picked up since I've been home and stuff that I picked up just before I went on vacation. So there's a little bit of a few things here, nothing crazy. Um, just some fun pickups. Uh, so we're just going to dive right in because honestly at this point I really don't remember what order I got this stuff in. So literally I'm just going to go from... I don't know, I just got stuff stacked in piles, so we're just going to dive right in. A uh, few things, it, it, if I do remember where I got it, I'll let you know. I do probably remember where I got most of this, just not exactly the order I got it in. Um, I actually picked this up yesterday for a couple bucks at a local place, because it's always nice to come across manuals. I don't have this game, but I never know either when I'm going to come across it, or if I know anybody that's going to need it, so I will. I generally pick them up if they're cheap enough. But I got a PlayStation 1 manual for Soul of the Samurai. We know how much I love PlayStation stuff, so I'll probably just hang on to that one for now. Got a few PlayStation 1 games. I picked up the two of these and a few other things at the random flea market in their cheap game pile. So I got them, I don't know, for like two bucks a piece. Is uh, PlayStation's Critical Depth. These are in really nice shape, by the way. This case is all effed up, but the discs are in good shape. Uh, it is missing the booklet, so if anybody has it, let me know. Is um, the X Files? All four discs are there, so that was a nice find. Uh, all the box art obviously is there. I'm just missing the manual. Um, then today I grabbed this guy. The case is all messed up, but it's a wrong case anyways. I paid two bucks for it, as you can tell on the cover. Um, it's a PlayStation Hardcore Four x Four. So, as you guys know, I like my PlayStation stuff. I got four PS2 games recently. I got these two at random as well on my way out. They were just kind of stuck in a bucket underneath the guy's table who usually does sports memorabilia and cards and stuff. And he, it said games two for five or three bucks a piece, so obviously I grabbed two. These are stay, both staying in my collection. One of them's an upgrade, if I remember right. Which means the other one will be for some trader sale. And yes, it is. Alright, uh, so this one is the Terminator, Dawn of... Well, I didn't read that. Dawn of Fate. It's got a nice, uh, like, shiny cover, which is really cool. And this one's an upgrade. It's got a limited edition cover. It's in great shape. It is Star Wars Bounty Hunter. It's got the mask of Boba Fett on it. Or is this Django Fett? I don't remember if this was Boba or Django. Django. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, my other one's going to end up being for trade because I don't really do a whole lot in variants unless it's specific things like uh, Silent Hill and whatnot. Uh, grab this guy from Savers. It's in great shape. It goes for like 10 to 12 bucks. Um, this thing was minty. It is The Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Knight. I don't believe I have that one, so that'll stay in the collection. And I grabbed this one yesterday. I didn't get any footage. Why I didn't take footage? I don't know. I guess um, maybe I was being lazy, but I saw this in the case. It was at um, Salvation Army. If you guys saw my Twitter feed, my Twitter feed, my Instagram feed, you would have seen the feed, feed, whatever. Anyway, if you saw my Instagram pictures, you would have seen that I picked this up. The case, uh, I might upgrade. I might leave it as is. Is uh, Time Splitters two? I paid three bucks for this, I believe. Yeah. So that was a nice find to pick that up because I know that's still like a $10 to $15 game. Uh, staying with the PlayStation stuff, I picked this guy up today and then realized it's a duplicate, so this will be for trade or sale. 
I did pay four bucks for it, so it's not a huge deal for a PS3 game. Is Mafia 2. But when you find PlayStation 3 stuff at a good at uh, Savers, generally you pick it up. It's worth it. Uh, I grabbed this guy from Random. I think I got this on footage. I don't remember. But when I saw, I was like, oh, cool, a collector's edition. And I asked what he wanted for it. And he's like, I don't know, like 10 bucks. So I opened it up, went through it. It's mint. It's very, very nice shape. The game has been opened, but I don't know if it's ever been played. Is uh, Soul Calibur 5 collector's edition. So this is really cool because it slides out and it looks like a nice book. And then opens up. And there's the game. There's the making of disc. And then if you pull this guy out, there's a art book. Sorry about the glare, but there's the art book. So that was a cool pickup. It's going to stay in my collection because Soul Calibur holds a special place in my heart. Um, an old buddy of mine introduced me to it back on the Dreamcast way back when. And unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So I see that, and for some reason, it makes me think of him whenever I see Soul Calibur stuff. So it's kind of my little sappy moment for the day. Uh, so continuing on, um, I'll save the Nintendo stuff for last. I got uh, a couple systems. Is that there? Yeah, that's there. Uh, I got this guy for two bucks. I didn't really know what it was, but it looked kind of different and interesting. And if you ever watch Rean Bean, I'm sure you do if you watch my channel. He does, he likes picking up oddball systems. So, uh, Mr. Rean Bean, if you are interested in this and you don't have it, definitely let me know. Um, I'll trade it to you cheap, uh, for something cheap, I'm sure. It is the AGP2. So this little guy, it's backlit. Well, not really backlit, but it's got a little light on it. And it's got these four little, turn that off, these little cartridges in it that you pop out and put in one and then you can play different games. So it's two, four, six, eight games on this. They don't go for very much, but I mean, for two bucks, I figured why not pick it up and check it out. So that was a cool little thing. Uh, you might be saying, hey, deja vu, but I picked up yet another Game Boy Color and it was also Atomic Purple. The thing with this one was, it didn't work, um, but now there's no batteries in it, so I can't even show you. Uh, I ordered some of the Y-tip screwdrivers and tore this thing apart because they came in today, and it works. I got it to work. The buttons didn't work. The screen did work, so it would read the game but wouldn't you know, do anything. So I basically gutted this thing and cleaned it, and now it's a nice little working system. Um, the screen's pretty good. I don't know if you can really tell from there. There's really no scratches on it, which is nice. Again, there's no back, but I did order backs for these because now I have two in my possession. And if I want to move them at all, then it should be nice to have a back. Uh, a buddy of mine actually picked that up for me. He was at a Savers, and he sent me pictures, and I was like, yeah, definitely pick it up. So he grabbed me that, and he grabbed me this. This one works as well. And unfortunately is... The, um, what is this? This is the 001 model. So it's not the backlit one, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I'll still bundle this with a couple games or something and sell it off that way. I got to clean that stupid sticker off because they tore it. They stuck it right on the front. Aside from a couple scratches, it's in pretty nice shape overall, and it works great. So that I'm not really worried about, but got that guy. So, and then that one... The Game Boy Color had a couple games with it, and this game was in the Game Boy Advanced, is Lizzie McGuire on the go. Yeah, buddy. So then I'll just be thrown in with that. Uh, these two games, I think it was only these two games. Yeah, these two games were with the Game Boy Color. So this is definitely what pushed it over the edge, is uh, Game & Watch Gallery 2, which was nice. And the other game, which is like a $20 game by itself, is The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. And the save does still work, because when I tested it out and I finally got it to work, the um, it still had saves from their previous owner on it. So that was nice. I definitely tested it out, played it for like 10 minutes, um, and then realized I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> uh, so a couple last things. Nothing really super crazy here. 
Um, but I got this guy yesterday for four bucks. I figured four dollars for an NES game, anything really under five isn't bad if it's not a sports game. Because um, you figure if you're going to pick it up online, you're paying three to four dollars for shipping, anyways. But I got Robocop for my collection. So that was a nice ad. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure it works fine. My boy, uh, brother from another mother, uh, sent me this. He picked it up a while back, and I told him I wanted it. He said, it's all yours. So I've got a pile of stuff i got to send his way. He finally sent me this, um, and he sent me a battery for my PSP for when I went on vacation. Battery works great, but unfortunately my PSP decided it doesn't want to work right anymore. The down button is, like, stuck. So i got to tear it apart and clean it, and hopefully that should just be the fix on it. Uh, but he sent me House of the Dead 2 and 3 for the Wii. Um, I loved this game on the big arcades. It was so much fun. Anytime I went to like Dave and Buster's, that's what I would do. I'd sit there and I'd just drop money to that machine and play that for forever. Uh, my last but not, certainly not least pickup. Uh, I walked into Savers one day after work, as I always do, and walked around, found nothing, walked up to the case, saw they had a Super Nintendo game set in there, complete in box. And I was talking to the girl. She was like, oh, we had four others, but some guy bought all four. Um, but he left this one behind because he said the box was damaged. So it sucks that I missed out on some box Super Nintendo games. They didn't know what they were, so I don't know what I missed. And I'm glad I don't know what I missed, but at the same time, I wish I knew what I missed. But um, I don't know why the guy left this behind this box. It has a little bit of wear. It's not bad, though. Um, the manual is nice, it's got the sleeve, the disc, the, the disc, the cart looks like it's never been used, um, so I'm going to sell my copy and recoup what I got into this, but, uh, Super Mario 2, Yoshi's Island, complete in box, like I said, the box is pretty nice, I mean, that side's got some wear to it, but nothing crazy, um, complete online, this game goes for, like, 55 to 65 bucks um i think i paid 30 for it which i felt was a good deal i know it's savers and you guys are being like oh savers 30 bucks but we all know how it's gone by now they're starting to look stuff up online we've crossed this bridge a million times maybe we'll actually have a whole discussion video about it sometime uh but yeah that's that's it for the game pickups um i'm gonna try to throw a toy video together uh during the day tomorrow i'm hopefully gonna Today's Thursday. I'm hopefully going to have this up by end of night tomorrow, Friday, um, because it's been over a week since I've had a video out, but you guys know I was on vacation, um, so I'm not really neglecting anybody. But um, So this coming weekend, like I said, is Comic-Con on Sunday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to go to the flea market before or not, because I generally try to get in line for Comic-Con at like 8 um, doors don't open to 10, but I like to be at the front of the line so I can try to hit stuff before everybody that's in line. Because even if you're waiting in line, for if any of you have ever been to go to a con that has a line, you'll understand. I like being I like being there early and being one of the first ones through the door. So that part I don't mind waiting for. But if you get there like right around when doors are opening, you now have to wait through I don't know how many hundreds to thousands of people to get through the door, scan their badges, go wait in line, and then you're waiting in line again to meet people. I'm going to try to be in the door and go hit the headliner guy that I want right away, um, which is the voice of Rick and Morty, uh, Justin Roiland. So that's my main guy. A couple other guys I want to meet did cancel, so I'm going to save money that way and I'll pick up some stuff. Um, I'm sure I'll have plenty of footage from Comic-Con coming up next week. I'll just do a Comic-Con video like I did a Retro World Expo video. So that'll have whatever I pick up there, you know, my toys, video games, whatever. Because last year at Comic-Con, they did have a lot of video game stuff. Um, it's where I got my Mega Man X for like 20 bucks, which was nice. So basically with that being said, if I get um, another... Uh, bleh, I can't even talk. Aside, stop, rewind. All right. If I can get another flea market video out of Sunday too, that'd be awesome. But I would only be going to Seekonk um, at 7, so I'd try to blow through there pretty quick. Seekonk's kind of sucked lately, but there's only a couple weeks left because they only go through the first week of December. So this will be the uh, 9th, on the 13th. 
is Sunday, so there's only going to be two to three more, uh, three more, and then Grafton only goes through Christmas, so after that, I don't know what's going on, we'll see what we can find. Um, so this might become bi-weekly, and I'll take some of my uh, past footage from my toy stuff and start putting a lot more toy videos together. Um, but I'm sure we'll find something, we always do. So that's pretty much, pretty much it guys. Um, so thanks for watching and hopefully this weekend I also have my contest video out. Uh, I got a buddy of mine who's supposed to give me something so I gotta decide whether I'm gonna give that away because he's just gonna give it to me so maybe I'll just give it to you guys. Uh, or if I'm, I know, I have a general idea of what I'm giving away. Uh, hopefully that will be up by the end of the weekend as well. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Check out my Instagram and Facebook pages. Links will be below. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.